All right, today's tutorial is going to be about um, rendering and passes using Maya's um, render layers. And um, we can render out a color pass, a highlight pass, a shadow pass, and then take them into Adobe After Effects later, composite them on top of each other, and have control on each individual thing without affecting the overall image. I can do my shadow pass out and blur my shadow without blurring the actual ball that the shadow is above. Um, so you have my polyplane, a polysphere, and two spotlights. I also have one under view. Um, camera settings, resolution gate, made sure my resolution gate's turned on. Um, also, you want to go into your render settings and just set quality you want at, um, the size you want to render out at, and make sure enable default light is turned off. So the first thing I want to do is go over here in our channel box here, which will open up with this little icon right here by the attribute editor. You'll notice down here is display and render layers. We're working in render layers, so make sure that's checked. I want to select everything in my scene, lights and all, that I want to be on the render layer, and then frame my shot. Um, I don't need to get fancy with the sphere. And then with everything selected, go under Layers, Create Layer from Selected, double click on that layer, layer 1, and just call it Diffuse. This will be your basic diffuse color pass. Layers, Create Empty Selected, double click on it. We'll call this Specular. It's an interesting word. Same thing, Layers, Create Empty from Selected. Call this one shadow and um, same thing create empty from selected and we'll call this one occlusion. Occlusion pass brings out all the details by occluding out the nice areas that have fallen shadow, the dark stuff, it really brings it out. Um, and that should be fine. Those are the four basics. You can do a reflection pass and all that, um, but I'm just this is a time constrained thing here for my video. So on the occlusion pass selected highlighted blue, I'll hold down right mouse button, go presets. I will do occlusion. It automatically sets up that layer to do occlusion. You'll notice a little render settings icon here button turned red. It's set. Um, I'll go in the shadow, highlight it, hold down right mouse button, presets, shadow. Same thing with all of them, specular. And the diffuse, hold down right mouse button, presets, and diffuse. Now they're all set up with settings for each layer. I only want to render one layer at a time. Right now all the R's are turned on, they'll all render together. I only want to render out the diffuse right now. Unclick all of them. Make sure the diffuse is highlighted. Hit render. And what we have right there is just my diffuse lighting with the shading and everything. No shadows, no nothing like that. Actually, you know what? That's a bad angle. I set up my lighting for a different angle. So, sorry about that. But we'll just render out. And all you have here is just, as you can see, it's just diffuse lighting on the material. No highlights, no shadows. Save it out, call it um, Diffuse, um, make sure to save it out as like a Targa. Uh, you want to keep the alpha on it, so it's 32-bit. You can see the alpha here. So alphas are going to become important when compositing it. This is how you view your alpha, this is where you view your color. Um, uncheck that, we'll go into Specular, make sure R is turned on, it's highlighted, hit Render. Um, the, like the specular highlights, this is where it's real important that the alpha, you save it out as a 32-bit targa, that file type. Um, hmm, I'm not seeing any alpha. Alright, well if you need to fix something like that, you have this little render I settings icon here. I'll just go over here in my render settings and make sure that, um, hmm, it says I am. Make sure it's turned on. Well, that pretty much is an alpha right there, so that should be good. Go down, find Targa. This is our specular. Turn that off. Go to Shadow. Turn the R on. Make sure it's highlighted. Hit Render.
and um, you're not going to see the shadow at all because it's black unless you look at the alpha and see where the alpha is actually cutting the shadow out so you know it's there just make sure to check your alpha to make sure it's on there and we'll call this shadow I'm not going to render out the occlusion pass because I'm running out of time here in the tutorial but it, uh, look for part two of this which will be where I place the images into Adobe After Effects